Chemistry. The study of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of the properties and behavior of matter. Matter is the physical material of the universe. Matter has mass and occupies space. A property is any characteristic that allows one type of matter to be distinguished from another type of matter. All matter is composed of about 118 substances, called elements, i.e. hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Atoms are almost infinitesimally small building blocks of matter. Each element is composed of a unique kind of atom. A molecule is two or more atoms joined in specific shapes, i.e., each water molecule, or H2O molecule is composed of two hydrogen atoms attached to one oxygen atom. Classifications of matter. Matter is typically characterized by one, its physical state, whether it's a gas, a liquid, or a solid, and two, its composition, whether it is an element, a compound, or a mixture. States of matter, gas, liquid and solid, a gas, also known as a vapor, has no fixed volume or shape. It takes the shape and volume of its container. A gas can be compressed or expanded. A liquid has a distinct volume but takes the shape of its container. A solid has a definite shape and a definite volume. Liquids and solids cannot be compressed or expanded to any appreciable extent. In a gas, molecules are far apart and moving at high speeds. Compressing a gas causes the space between the molecules to decrease. In a liquid the molecules are closer, but still moving rapidly, which allows for molecules to slide past each other to pour the liquid. In a solid the molecules are held tightly together, unable to slip past one another, leading to definite shape. Changes in temperature and or pressure can cause a change in state, i.e., from solid to liquid by raising temperature. A pure substance has distinct properties and a composition that does not vary from sample to sample, i.e., water and table salt are pure substances. Elements are substances that cannot be decomposed into simpler substances, i.e. hydrogen or helium. Compounds are composed of two or more elements. They contain two or more kinds of atoms, i.e., water. H2O consists of hydrogen and oxygen. Mixtures are combinations of two or core substances in which each substance retains its chemical identity. The law of constant composition, also called the law of definite proportion, states that the elemental composition of a compound is always the same, i.e., a compound of water is always two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. A homogeneous mixture is one that is uniform throughout. Air is homogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures are sometimes called solutions. A solution can be gas, liquid or solid. A heterogeneous mixture is non-uniform, does not have same composition, properties, and appearance throughout, i.e., rocks and wood. Properties of matter. Physical properties can be observed without changing the identity and composition of the substance, i.e., color, odor, density, melting point, boiling point, and hardness. Chemical properties describe how a substance may change or react to form a new substance, i.e. flammability. Intensive properties do not depend on the amount of sample, i.e., density and boiling point. One small pot of water and one large pot of water both boil at 100 degrees Celsius at one atmosphere of pressure. Extensive properties depend on the amount of sample, i.e., mass and volume change depending on how much matter is present. When a substance undergoes a physical change, the appearance changes, but the composition does not, resulting in the same substance, i.e., evaporating water, liquid to gas, still water. When a substance undergoes a chemical change, it changes to a new substance, i.e., when hydrogen burns in air, it reacts with oxygen to form water. Units of measurement. The metric system consists of units used for scientific measurement. United States has traditionally used the English system with slugs and feet. SI base units. Kilogram for mass. Meter for length. Second for time. Kelvin for temperature. Mole for amount of substance. Ampere for electrical current. Candela for luminous intensity. Prefixes used in the metric system and with C base units. Peta meaning 10 to the 15 power. Tera meaning 10 to the 13. Giga 10 to the 9. Mega 6. Kilo 3. Deca negative 1. Centi negative 2. Milli negative 3. Micro negative 6. Nano negative 9. Pico negative 12. Femto negative 15, Addo negative 18, Zepto negative 21, i.e., 1 nanometer equals 10 to the negative 6 meters. Mass is a measure of the amount of material present. SI unit is kilograms. Mass is not the same as weight. Weight is the force that the mass experiences due to gravity. Temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. Heat flows spontaneously from hot to cold. Celsius scale, was defined as 0 degrees C being the freezing point of water and 100 degrees C being the boiling point of water at sea level. The temperature in Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. Kelvin scale, was defined as absolute 0 being 0 Kelvin. Absolute 0 is the lowest possible temperature. Theoretically, cannot actually reach absolute 0. 0 Kelvin equals negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So Kelvin equals Celsius plus 273.15. The volume of a cube is equal to the side length cubed. Standard unit is cubic meters, sometimes for smaller measurements. Cubic centimeters is used. One cubic centimeter equals one millimeter. A cube with side length of one decimeter has a volume of 10 cubed, or 1,000 cubic centimeters. Because one decimeter is 10 centimeters, density is the amount of mass per unit volume. Iron is said to be heavier than air because it has a higher density. More mass per unit volume. Density equals mass divided by volume. Uncertainty in measurements. There are two kinds of numbers, exact and inexact. Numbers resulting from counting, i.e., 12 eggs are exact. Numbers that are approximate are inexact, i.e., 2.2 pounds in a kilogram or pi equals 3.14. Numbers obtained by measurement are always inexact. Uncertainty always exists due to equipment and human error. Precision is the measure of how closely individual measurements agree with each other. More spread out is less precise. Accuracy is the measure of how close a measurement agrees with the true value, i.e., hitting a bullseye on a dartboard is accurate. Hitting it multiple times is precise and accurate. There is always uncertainty in the last digit reported for any measured quantity. All digits, including the uncertain one, of a measured quantity are significant figures. All non-zero digits are significant 
significant, i.e., 22 has two significant figures, zeros between non-zero digits are always significant, i.e., 202 has three significant figures, zeros at the beginning of a number are never significant, they are merely placeholders, i.e., 0.202 has three sig figs, zeros at the end of a number are significant if there is a decimal point in the number. For addition and subtraction, the result has the same number of decimal places as the measurement with the fewest number of decimal places. For multiplication and division, the result has the same number of significant figures as the measurement with the fewest number of significant figures. Dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is a method to convert between units, i.e., how many inches in two feet. Multiply two feet by a conversion factor that is equal to one, to strategically cancel the feet units, leaving an inches unit. Two feet times 12 inches over one feet, gives 24 inches. 